safe for a lot of people. The new Sacramento City College pedestrian and bicycle bridge has Ray excited. It's finally here. Now he can avoid headaches using the bridge on Sutterville Road. Traffic is just too much. They, they needed this badly because not only for myself, but for the college students as well. And anybody that, that has to walk over that bridge, you know, it, it takes a long time to go over that bridge. Sutterville is not really the safest place to walk. It's a thin sidewalk. People are going pretty quick on it. You go up the hill and over. Plans were drawn in 2011. Construction began in 2015. A year and a half later, with a final cost of 11 million, the overcrossing spans over the light rail and UPRR tracks, connecting Curtis Park, Land Park, and Sacramento City College. Uh, it'll connect two different communities. So it's a good job, and they put it up fast. This way, people can just take the bridge. Um, I think it's going to facilitate the seniors that are that are working or living there now. And some seniors living here are now ready to explore. I don't know yet uh, exactly where it's going to lead to. I just know it goes over the bridge, and when, when I get on that side, I can, you know, experiment. This project was a community effort. This was instigated by people and folks in Curtis Park who wanted to do it and really put together the funding with a, a lot of organizations, including SACOG. Rotation is funny here. <laughs> Just getting around here used to be puzzling. Now, it's one more little piece of the puzzle here as, as Sacramento continues to move forward.